is Miss Irene and Miss Linda. Welcome back to our STEM activity of the day that we do every Wednesday and Friday at 2 p.m. We're really glad that you're joining us. We're super excited. Super excited. And today we're going to be talking about which one of the principles of STEM? Science. That's right. Science, which is one of my favorites. So we're going to talk about the capillary effect. Do you know what that is, Miss Linda? Well, I know I've got capillaries in my body that move blood. Well, it's kind of like that. The capillary effect that we're talking about is the movement of water from the soil up the stems of plants to give them nourishment. And we're going to see this effect by using some cool paper towels. It's really easy. Awesome. So for this experiment, you're going to need seven cups. I have glass and plastic, they can be intermixed. I, it's best to have clear so you can see what's going on, but you don't have to. You need some paper towels, preferably white, so you can see the results, and a bunch of hot water. And by hot, I mean you probably want a kettle or you want to microwave it so it's nice and warm, okay? So we're gonna start by going ahead and pouring water into every other glass. Now, the higher glasses, I'm gonna pour a little bit more water into so we can reach them. These guys are gonna go about halfway. Now, when you're doing this experiment, um, how much water you put in there really doesn't matter, but you wanna put at least halfway in the glass as you're looking at this, because it's gonna um, be able to show you the effect better. So then we're gonna add some food coloring. So what are our three primary colors? Do you remember? Red. Red, perfect. Blue. Blue and? Yellow. Perfect, so those three colors are your primary colors and they get mixed to make others. So the first cup is gonna get red. So you're gonna put about four or five drops in there. And the last cup is gonna get red, okay? So we've got the red one done, we'll put a cap on that. And then we're gonna use blue. So you skip a cup and you put the blue in there. Okay, so this one is pretty much out. We're gonna use my backup right here. Pop some blue in there, perfect. And we're gonna skip a cup again. And we're gonna add, what color are we adding, Miss Linda? Yellow! Perfect, I like yellow, it's like sunshiny. Okay, so now we've got the colors in there. Now it's really easy what we do from here. We're gonna go ahead and take paper towels. Now, if you take a paper towel and you just cut it, and then you're gonna fold it in inches so it's nice and tight. That's all you have to do to make these. And you make them into like a U. And you put one in this cup and one in this cup. And you can see, if you notice when I put it in there, the capillary effect almost already taking over because you can see the pink beginning to rise up on the glass. Awesome. So then we take this one and we put it in that cup and we put it in this cup because we want the blue to go and you can see the blue starting to go. Now for the smaller cups, what you're gonna see me do is I, I took off a little piece of it because we don't need it quite as long to make it go between the two cups. And then the yellow one. Look at that yellow going, isn't that a pretty yellow? Sunshine. Yeah, it's a floury yellow right there. We got one going red. And then we got one going right here with the yellow and the red. Now what's gonna happen, as you can see, the hot water is raising up the paper towels and it's actually doing the capillary effect. You can see the red coming up here and the blue coming here. And what will happen is they will actually come in and they will mix into the empty cups and they will actually create uh, a rainbow effect. So this takes usually about, in about 15 minutes, you'll begin to really see the difference and in about an hour and a half, it will be completed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull this piece forward and this is gonna show you our finished example. As you can see, the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and red again. It really came out beautiful. And it shows the different effects. And you'll notice I put about the same amount of water in each of those cups and it pulled through and went into each of the other cups. So it really showed the pulling of the water like it does with the plants. If you have any white flowers at home, 
and you want to take some of your white flowers and put them in a cup with some blue because it shows really good food coloring, you can also do that and let it sit a day and you will actually see the blue come up into the white leaves and it will show you the capillary effect. And if you cut the stem, you'll see the blue in the stem. So that's another really cool experiment to do at home that's really inexpensive and cheap. So. Thank you so much for joining us. I want you to remember that you can get to know all about science through our e-resources at um, www.collierlibrary.org. And also you can go to um, our hard resources when we open up again. Here's some examples of some books that we use. So have a good afternoon, be well, and we'll see you on Friday.